Okay, with the monkey's fist formed, we want to we we want to remove it from the jig, and then we want to undergo the uh, process of tightening. Removing from the jig is just simple as sliding it off the pegs, setting the jig aside. Okay, now tightening, very important. Now normally, I could start with any end of this um, and work work it through piece by piece, but I want to make sure that I maintain the joint between the black and the pink, which is essentially in this um, in this area underneath here. So what I'll do is I'll start with the black and I'll remove some of the excess slack. So I'm just going to do actually do this by hand in the beginning here. Don't want to over tighten at any step. Just want to follow it along, taking out the excess and making sure that on both sides you maintain the order of the cords. If at any point cords get out of order, you need to make adjustments as required to fix that. You can slide slide the cords down to make room for whichever cord has gotten out of order. Okay, so I just removed some of the excess slack of the black. I'm going to work some of the uh, pink through now. The pink, this part of the pink actually is where it's joined with the black underneath here. So I'm not going to pull it too much. I don't want to pull that end out. I'm just going to follow it around. Taking care not to tighten the first row too much that I have no room to keep my blacks in, in a row. So the secret to this is just taking your time, working the knot tight, while taking care to maintain symmetry all around. You don't over tighten, be particularly cautious about over tightening on the last row, the last pass of each, because if you tighten it too much then you're going to make trouble for the cords underneath. If you have patience while you do this then you'll be much happier with your final product. See, this has sort of gotten on a line here. I'm going to use one of my, just use my fids to slide this over into place. Okay. That was another pass with the pink. Just working it tighter. Now let's work the black tighter again.
Now it's time to do the pink. Don't pull the end row down so tight that you squish and expose the um, steel from the corner. That's your points of caution. These end rows. Okay, this is almost done. I'm not going to do another pass of tightening for film. But I am going to continue the process on my own to finish the piece before I go on to the next step. So you can see when I tighten these down, I just have to keep ensuring that I don't over tighten on one side or the other, that I adjust the cords, sliding them up or down as necessary. Tightening one end a little more than the other, shifting. I mean, this is this is really where it's at. It gets more complicated on a larger piece, but you have to take it slow. You have to maintain the order of the cords, no overlapping. Eventually, you'll have the monkey's fist not tightened. You're ready to go on to the next step.